Welcome, welcome to Hopeless the Romantics. Why was that Italian? <laughs> um, it was like both. <laughs> Transylvanian slash Italian, good. <laughs> yeah, I'm like... <laughs> We're mixed here. <laughs> <laughs> um, a little bit of pasta and a, a little bit of um, steak through the heart. I don't know. <laughs> You know, we just, we omit the garlic and we use blood for sauce. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks we are, the same. Yeah. We're Italian vampires. <laughs> we win. <laughs> um. So, yeah, I guess let's address the lack of camera right now, I suppose. That's fair. We are avatars this week. <laughs> uh. Yeah, it's like... Partially camera no worky, partially advertising for pirates. <laughs> this is true, and probably next week too will be also avatars. Oh yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Camera no worky takes a while to get camera shipped. Hopefully <laughs> camera worky worky again. <laughs> Why are we like this? <laughs> Yes. Sorry. Oh, also title card. Hopeless Romantics. Yes. I was on the page um uh, that just had the book that we're reading. But fair enough. Now that um This you know, is a podcast. This is a podcast. Hopeless welcome Romantics. Back. Uh welcome back to episode twelve. You would think that by the twelfth episode, we would have an intro solidified, but nope, cold opens. Yeah, that's what you love about this show. <laughs> I just think that it should change every time to be complicated. <laughs> yep. Why not? It's good. It's good for us. Good. Good job. Uh huh. Uh, it's clearly it's clearly working out very well. <laughs> mm hmm. <laughs> yep. Um. Yeah. Also, just for like anybody in chat. Right now, um, hi, if you're new here, uh, we typically don't interact with chat too much during this. Um, and yeah. I'm so sorry, but I am l currently frantically reading notes I made. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Um, but yeah, so getting into this week's book, go back to that slide that you had up. <laughs> yeah. We did How to Marry a Millionaire Vampire by Carolyn Sparks. Um, and I do have a summary. So oh. I will go ahead and read that. All right. Roman Dragonesti, which also, dope name, first of all, off the bat. <laughs> <laughs> dope. I agree. Good job. Cool name. Yeah. Anyway, Roman Dragonesti is charming, handsome, rich. He's also a vampire. But this vampire just lost one of his fangs, sinking his teeth into something he shouldn't have. Now he has one night to find a dentist before his natural healing abilities close the wound, leaving him <clears throat> a lopsided eater for all eternity. Things aren't going well for Shanna Whelan either. After witnessing a gruesome murder, she is next on the mob's hit list, and her career as a dentist appears to be on a downward spiral because she's afraid of blood. When Roman rescues her from an assassination attempt, she wonders if she's found the one man who can keep her alive. Though the attraction between them is immediate and hot, Shanna can, can Shanna conquer her fear of blood to fix Roman's fang? And if she does, what will prevent Roman from using his fangs on her? Yeah. So that was a fun um, intro. I <laughs> was really like, girl, why did you pick um to be a dentist you know yes if you have a fear of blood and that was like later explained that it was like a developed fear of blood so fair enough <laughs> fair enough yeah i'm still like how did you because she's currently working as a dentist when we pick up with her um yes. i'm just like what are you doing at the dental office currently i guess right she, she works the night shift so um, apparently it's not too busy, which I think she just works around the clock, though. Oh, I thought she just thing... worked the night shift. No, I think she's the only one there. Like, I think it's her practice. 
Am I wrong about that? I think you are. Because that doesn't make sense. Because, um, firstly, she would need to sleep. Secondly, I don't, she didn't seem like she cared that much about the place. So I don't think it was her dental practice. Okay, that's fair. I don't know. They never really, like, they didn't, I feel like they didn't explain that. I don't know. Anyway. I, know. I do be thinking that we're going to have, like, more, um, like, every time we read a romance novel, I'm like, surely your job is going to be important to you. <laughs> and they're like, no, we're fucking. Duh. Duh. <laughs> Who needs a job? <laughs> What's I'm, that? I'm like, silly me. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> We can all just <laughs> take multiple days off of work without telling our bosses. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. <laughs> um, Before we get into this any further, let's get into some trigger warnings. We have a few here, and I'm so sorry if we missed any, but these are the ones I think are the most important. Trigger That's warning fair. Um, for blood, death threats bombing and like general violence it's a vampire novel it has quite a lot of violence in it like i said i think last week um you know i feel like paranormal romance they're like they laugh off violence way easier because they're just like aha we all heal (laughs) or no one can hurt us yeah that's totally fair (laughs) there was a decent amount of violence as well yeah (laughs) yeah um, but yes, that was that. Now, let's talk about, you want to talk about uh, hot takes? Sure, sure, sure. All right, I'm going to have you go first. Okay, so my hot take for this week. Um, if I were Shanna, the harem would not have been a problem, and it would have been a bonus. <laughs> And I would not have gotten rid of the hot vampire ladies. (laughs) Do I maybe need to explore polyamory? Maybe. Who knows? (laughs) But yeah, it would not have been an issue for me. And that was like a huge, like her main hang up in this book. Other than blood and not liking blood. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's my hot take. (laughs) You know what? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Makes sense. <laughs> My hot take. Um Roman hashtag not like other vamps dragon SD <laughs> is boring. <laughs> there we go. That's hilarious. <laughs> I kind of was thinking a similar thing. Okay, cool. I was really yeah. worried you were gonna like crucify me for that. <laughs> no, that's fair. I do feel like he was very much like generic vampire e. I don't know. Yeah. 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 That makes sense. Still really hot though. Still uh still scored very high <laughs> on my green butterfly scale, but <laughs> Yes, I love to scroll through the thing, um, like the slideshow before we go live. Yeah. Just to see the ratings. <laughs> yeah. So I can be like, what does that mean? Or like yeah. oh yeah, I saw that too. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I felt like our uh I think our ratings were the same pretty much for Shanna, but then it was vastly different for <laughs> Roman. Yes. So I was really <laughs> worried with my hot take. <laughs> no, that's fair. <laughs> I'm just I'm just about it. I'm about that vampire life. I was like, I don't want to insult Alyssa here, but <laughs> <No>. <laughs> never. <laughs> okay. Uh so speaking of the main character, should we describe Shanna a little bit? I don't have slides for their physical appearances but we do have like them pictured on the red flag scale but we can just go ahead and describe them a little bit so shanna um i believe she has naturally strawberry blonde hair yes but it was dyed multiple colors um in the book that they mentioned so she's you know i was like finally a normal character a normal woman who dyes her hair (laughs) like (laughs) I feel like that's very common 
yeah. in our society today. And I just feel like none of the they're always like, oh, yeah, my natural hair. And that's all we're doing. Right. No one has cool hair. Like, where are the where are the blue haired liberals at? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Give me something. Tired of the blue eyes, which yeah. uh, Shanna has. <laughs> yeah. I think our last like three or four books, the main, well, not black gold, but before that, <laughs> yeah, the last few have literally all had blue eyes. Yeah. Like, I which is kind it. of annoying. It's a nice yeah. color, but like green, hazel, right? brown, like they're all right? wonderful eye colors and they can all be described and romanticized in so such different ways. So why does everybody That's have blue eyes? I don't understand. Well, I mean, I do understand. That's because it's the beauty standard, but <laughs> it's dumb. Beauty standard is wrong. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> I agree completely. <laughs> should we? Should, uh, if you have blue eyes, you're probably a. There was incest somewhere in your line. <laughs> That's a fact. Let's just insult That's the blue eyed people watching. <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> they need to be taken down a peg. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. You guys have been on top way too long. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just knock them down a little bit. It's fine. Anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, she does have blue eyes, uh, pink lips, her hair's dyed. Um, I don't, there wasn't a ton of description beyond that. I don't know if you have anything else. Uh, no, um, the main, yeah, that's basically it. I actually <laughs> was getting worried in the book that, uh, her hair color would like never be mentioned because, yeah. uh, it wasn't for so, so <laughs> long. I literally ended up looking it up on the wiki and then like at the, around the end of the book, it finally gets mentioned. Yeah. It definitely did not just give straight up descriptions like it was throughout the book. Again, describe your characters. I want to get invested and I the a way to do that is I would like to be able to picture them. Give me a mental image. Okay, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it always is. It really is just like the generic generic girl. <laughs> generic woman <laughs> here you go skinny but somehow also so curvy yeah <laughs> with blue eyes yeah with blue eyes blue eyes and boobs <laughs> and she's got a uh, wavy straight curly hair <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> wavy straight curly hair perfect that's it. exactly yes <laughs> right um so now on to roman's description uh, we did get a little bit more creative here, I would say, yes. <laughs> with the vampire thing. Um, he is very pale. Like, you know, vampires are. They do be pale. <laughs> yes. Um, he has dark black hair. He has pretty broad shoulders and a trim waistline. Um, literally, in my notes, I just have hot vampire man. <laughs> <laughs> And then his eyes are like a golden color. Yeah, you and know they, I was eating that up. <laughs> right? I know. Which also on the slideshow in the <laughs> in the future slides, for some reason, because the like his eyes were so tiny, you'll see in a little bit, he really just looks jaundiced like <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> so that was my bad. But <laughs> golden eyes. <laughs> Imagine that he doesn't look quite as sickly, but also He's a vampire, so he does look sickly <laughs> a little bit, you yeah. know? But like a hot um, sickly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and then his eyes like do turn red occasionally in the book as well, which again, hot. <laughs> yeah. I'm into it. Right? Fire eyes. <laughs> Dope. <laughs> Um, I like to, I like to, I don't know why I do this, but I try to like write down motivations for characters, but okay, fair enough. Roman, I literally just wrote is 500. <laughs> <laughs> is 500. That's his motivation in life. <laughs> is 500, but still hasn't come to the terms with like being immortal. <laughs> oh my God. Yes. <laughs> and whines about it constantly. <laughs> good <laughs> great <laughs> love that <laughs> we roasted um the only other things i guess 
And then uh, the only other character I think that like really needs to be addressed is that there's like a bad vampire named Ivan. Yes. And uh, he basically uh, Roman and like a bunch of other vampires. They're like, we don't want to kill people because if we kill people, we won't have food. And also killing is kind of wrong. And then Ivan is like, no, we vampires are above cattle, people. basically. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. Um, Which is low key, that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> I don't necessarily blame him for having that view. Like, yeah, that kind of sucks as a human, but also. I think sustainably he is wrong. Like, they're not going to have food after a while. But I also don't necessarily think that we needed to do the whole fake blood. Like, you could just feed responsibly. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too, is, like, you don't have to kill them. Yeah. You could just, you know, drain a couple. But like, Ivan is <laughs> wrong, live. but, like, not entirely. <laughs> yeah. That's fair. Also, I feel like there could have been like some, this is just off the top of my head. I don't know why this just popped in my head, but I was like, they could have maybe worked with the government somehow, you know? Mm -hmm. Have some have some prisoner blood or some shit. Oh, that's fair. You the know. government would love that. Like pedophiles and murderers. It'd be fine. The government would totally take that. Like, exactly. Honor. Don't, don't exactly. even deny. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, go on. Yes. But yeah. That's fair. Um, yeah, and the scenery is New York, I think. Yes. Yes. They also, I feel like they were trying to keep, like, because they did use a lot of, like, memory wipes and stuff, so they were trying to keep, like, the vampires, uh, like, hidden and secret and stuff from people. Yes. So, like, that's fair, I guess, why they didn't think of that. But, like, <laughs> creative solutions, come on. <laughs> yeah. Could have worked something out. I just, yeah, I just think you know there was an answer besides just killing people. <laughs> yeah. Every time you got a little peckish. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's fair. Um, um, but that's why we... Ivan's a bad boy, naughty. Yes. Oh, and also, like, I guess we didn't really say this. Roman is, uh, he, while he doesn't want to, like, drink act from actual people. He is also, like, the head of a corporation that is coming up with solutions for that. So he's, like, in charge of a whole um, corporation that, like, makes fake blood and all these, like, inventions to help them uh, not feed on people, which is really cool. I thought that was dope. Yeah. They... Smart inventor, man. And they're making, like vampire fusion cuisine is what they call it and they make like like vampires that miss the taste of chocolate they made like a chocolate drink basically yeah and then there were also like a lot of puns in there they made yes. blood light <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. which i <laughs> chuckled at <laughs> yeah i thought that was really fun um and uh, yes i enjoyed the, the those uh, little products yeah for sure so kudos to you, <laughs> Carolyn Sparks. <laughs> yes, thank you. Good Describe right. your Good characters, right. but I like your puns. <laughs> yeah. That's fair. It's all about give and take, you know? <laughs> <laughs> that's fair, that's fair. All right. Do we want to we wanna talk about Shanna's red flags now? You sure, yes. All right. I did use Amy Adams for <laughs> our representation here okay, today. Okay, I've so. been, like, trying to figure out who this is because you know I'm terrible with, like, celebrities. <laughs> yeah. Um, But I was like, I recognize this person, but I cannot figure out who this is. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but, you know, I used, I used the strawberry blonde, you know. I was yeah. like, she's gorgeous. We're going to use her. Yeah. If it's. <laughs> did you even have and to make her eyes? eyes? Bluer. <laughs> Yeah, I edited them. Oh, okay. What are eyes colored? <laughs> Hell Normally. Yeah. Um, they're they're in this picture it was like kind of grayish, but it, they were like bluish. Oh, okay. So, just weren't blue enough. Yeah, you know, got to <laughs> got to enhance that a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got to put on the high beams. <laughs> Since our characters are always described as such. 
<laughs> you know. <laughs> All right. Um, am I first? We don't know. We'll find out. Yes, I think you are. Yes, I am. I gave <laughs> Dear Shanna Whalen four out of five red flags. Um, my first red flag is girl has daddy issues. Relatable. <laughs> <laughs> but I got my own and I really I don't know. I don't I'm not ready to unpack that with you at this time. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Fair enough. <laughs> um my second red flag is she is on the run from the mob and I don't want to be killed by the mob. And I could definitely see my lovable ass just being killed in some kind of um restaurant-esque accident where they think <laughs> I'm Shanna. I don't know. I'm just pulling this from my butt here. <laughs> uh-huh. Yes. <laughs> Go <And> on. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to be accidentally killed because of your <laughs> my your uh, another. Yeah. Cool, cool. <laughs> yes. Um, That's fair. My third red flag, you kind of touched on this previously as an issue, She's judgy. She's constantly judging the other women that live at Roman's house. And I understand that some of them were catty to her. Um, but she really is just out here judging the way they look and dress, which I feel is unnecessary. And she won't admit for such a long time that she's just jealous and insecure. Um, yeah. And she's just like, no, I just don't like her because she dresses weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'm like admit she's For hot sure. and move on <laughs> right right um and then my fourth fourth red flag is she is constantly fighting her instincts um which i will say makes her perfect for roman but annoying to listen to <laughs> <laughs> That's i don't have the time fair. to listen to you fight with yourself bone him or not <laughs> bone him or not are you in or out <laughs> yeah for real okay yeah. now Alyssa. i also gave her four out of five red flags um all of your reasons i have listed as well and just to like elaborate on the harem thing a little bit more i also said that she's a little bit dumb <laughs> because <laughs> she doesn't connect the dots that Roman is the one with the harem for like a very long time. That's fair. And they're just like, she's just like, who are these ladies calling master? Couldn't be him, not in his own mansion. And then <laughs> I have like real. drug emoji. <laughs> like, <laughs> girl, <laughs> <laughs> connect the dots. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Um, and then I said she's also like not great at communicating because the harem problem could have been resolved with a conversation and was resolved after she finally was like, hey, I'm not cool with this. Yeah. Because he was like, okay, well, then they're gone. Like, for <laughs> you're the one for me. Cool. Right. Yes. So, yeah, I didn't understand that. Um, I also said that. I don't know, maybe this is just saying more about myself than anything else, but, like, I just, like, the harem was a little, like, catty at times and, like, upset that she was taking time from them, mm -hmm. like, with Roman or whatever, but, like, befriend them. I don't know. Like, I feel like <laughs> I'm kind of used to, like, insecure women not, like, just not liking me for existing, if that makes sense. Yeah. So. I don't know, just become their friends. Like, it's fine. Like, you're insecure. They're probably insecure. Like, cool. Right. Make a friend. And also, they're hot vampire ladies. Like, what the hell? <laughs> what is wrong with you? I know. <laughs> That's a bonus. <laughs> I was, like, really upset, honestly, when she was yeah. judging how they looked all the time. Yeah. I was like, who are you? <laughs> Lowly <Right>. human dentist. <laughs> <laughs> Who works the night shift? And she doesn't <laughs> like, even like herself. Like most yeah. romance heroines don't. They're all like, I'm not attractive. I have too big of boobies. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, that's why I gave her four out of five of the red flags. <laughs> I, I agree. <laughs> not just because we had the same reasons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
like I said, our thoughts were very, very similar on <laughs> Shanna for sure. And we can get it together at least half of the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> now that we've made fun of you, dear, let's say some positive things about you. Green butterflies. Um, me. I yes. gave Shanna two out of five green butterflies. Um, the things that I enjoyed about Shanna. Okay, hear me out. She tricked. At one point, she tricks a vampire guard into letting her leave while she's in protective custody. That's yes. very dumb, but I was like, get it, girl. <laughs> you know? No, that was a good scene. Girl boss. <laughs> yeah, for sure. She, like, faked a French accent and stuff, too. Yeah. Yeah. And, and like, the vampires yep. have superior senses and stuff, so... It's really impressive to me that she was able to sneak past them. Yeah, that's totally valid. Yes. Um, and then the other green butterfly I gave her literally was just, I don't think she's a bad person. And I was, I do think she's a good person. I just don't think there was like anything else for me to compliment. Mm -hmm. But so I really, it was like a pity butterfly to be honest um but that's all she gets because she's judgy and a dentist so yeah okay that's totally fair that's very very similar to my reasons again i also gave her two out of five <laughs> <laughs> um i did have that she has a good career she's a dentist or whatever um and that she's book smart that kind of goes along with that and then similarly to how you were like she's a good person i kind of I was like, she's willing to help people and she does care for people, like mm -hmm. her patients and stuff. Yeah. So that also, <laughs> I don't know if I would classify it as a pity butterfly, but like along the same lines <laughs> of what you were saying. Yeah. For sure. I'm just like, if I can't specifically name it, I feel bad giving her a butterfly, but it was like, you know, like a good person vibe is there. <laughs> yeah. 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 A little boring, but, but good person vibes. Yeah. You know. Yeah despite her being a dentist um yeah yes yeah <laughs> you didn't like that that's not the career for you <laughs> uh no i no. <laughs> i guess i've not i've never touched on this i have a <laughs> deep fear of like mouths and saliva mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um and i don't understand how anybody could be a dentist because i think i would literally die if i had to look into anyone's mouth <laughs> yeah um, let like, alone like 30 people during a day <laughs> yeah and like dentists see bad mouths yeah you know sometimes I right would die uh like <laughs> the beginning of rocky horror picture show if anyone has ever seen it uh when the mouth is talking at the very beginning I literally cringe, um, almost so throw up at the th just the thought of it. Honestly, I'm <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> a little nauseous. <laughs> a little, little nauseous. <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> that's all. <laughs> My, um, yeah. So like, she was really coming back from a lot for me because she was already a dentist. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, and then plus if you're dating someone who's a dentist, they're going to be talking about mouths all day too, probably. Right. I if feel you come like, home. I feel like if... um, I think I've said this before at one point or another to someone, but I just don't think I... Like somebody would love me if they saw the inside of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> And I think that's a reflection of <laughs> your <laughs> fears. <laughs> but uh huh. I would just be being judged constantly. What if I oh didn't brush my teeth one night and they were like, mm hmm, cavities? And then they break up with me six months later. Or like if you didn't floss, because who does that on a regular basis anyway? <laughs> like, right, right, right. <laughs> Did you floss, sweetheart? Yeah, I couldn't take it. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. <laughs> My depression days could not handle that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, that would be a lot for me. That's a no for me. Uh, any dentists out there um, hoping to become a partner 
Uh, well, first of all, I'm taken. Sorry. But secondly, <laughs> no. <laughs> the hard no. <laughs> Just denied all around. Yeah. <laughs> Change career ways. paths and the answer will still be no because I do have a partner. But... <laughs> hilarious yeah, since everyone's just dying to change <laughs> yeah. their jobs to date me <laughs> yeah yeah those are worth it. those are thoughts people have now <laughs> yeah for sure yeah uh-huh um so anyway I guess like on this scale girls manipulate mansplain male wife hell yeah damn you're getting so fast at saying it i'm Good trying job. i'm like yeah let's go <laughs> <laughs> that aries energy <laughs> hell yeah <laughs> you are first again on this i believe anna whalen 75 percent girl boss 25 percent gaslight interesting fair i rated her 40% girl boss, 40% male wife, and 20% jealous. Thank you. Because <laughs> she's jealous as fuck. She is. Yeah. yeah. We've already touched on that a little bit, but. <laughs> I do think, okay, the male wife thing is kind of like, she's a good person. Good yeah. person vibes. You know, that's why I threw that in there. <laughs> and then took the girl boss down a little bit, just because I felt like she was a little bit boring. This scale makes she me... Wasn't like laugh so hard um just the concept of it because i think truly all of these ratings are insults but we'll be like <laughs> you're a male wife and that means you're a good person <laughs> <laughs> that's fair <laughs> we gotta i mean i don't know we gotta make the the thing fit somehow <laughs> <laughs> i agree no i agree i mean there are good qualities to being a girl boss or a male wife or you know anything mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. you know less so on the gaslight but i'm sure someone out there some book character out there is gonna spin it to me <laughs> <laughs> someone's gonna gaslight you into thinking gaslighting is good <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> good <laughs> great <laughs> <laughs> so why do you think that she is gaslight is this a gaslighting herself situation like the other time or yeah yeah that's fair yes she, <laughs> i you i i feel like it's a typical paranormal romance type of thing just like no couldn't be um this boy couldn't drinks be real. blood ma'am <laughs> <laughs> yeah how much more obvious does he need to be that he's a vampire? She also, like, does not connect the dots that he's a vampire for, like, a very long time. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, ugh, that was, like, killing me. I was like, girl, do you, have you never heard of vampires before? Do you, am I, <laughs> am I just too far into this stuff that I would immediately recognize, oh, you're a vampire. <laughs> cool. No, I agree. I actually had that written down later for, like, additional scenes. I was just like, I think I'm too weird to, uh, like, it would occur to me much sooner. Oh, for sure. Also, like, it was a Like, big literally the second he walked in with a fang. <laughs> oh, Sorry, yeah. what? <laughs> it was, like, a big concern, too, that Roman was a vampire. And I was like, no, I would just be into it immediately. Yeah, exactly. Because I'm a freak. <laughs> Hot, immortal vampire man who lives in a mansion right. with a harem of hot other <laughs> vampires dope sign me up yes so like a big part of the book was this conflict uh between believing he's a vampire and then like he is a vampire and like therefore he's like a demon from hell and i'm just like i am trying to be understanding and be in your head and relate but i just do not <laughs> yeah there was also like a lot of that from himself too Yes. <laughs> Should we go ahead and get into his red flag since we're starting to discuss him a little bit? Yeah. Look at this man here. <laughs> Again, his eyes look a little jaundiced, but <laughs> <laughs> just imagine that they're a sexy gold <laughs> and not a sickly gold. <laughs> He's beautiful with liver damage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay. He drinks some bad blood. Yeah. <laughs> now, um, 
I gave Mr. Dragon SD here five out of five red flags. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, we kind of touched. We kind of just touched on this, so I'm glad that we moved on to him. He has religious trauma, and he's got this whole "woe is me, I'm an affront before God" attitude. He's mm-hmm. been alive almost 500 years, and I think it's time he comes to terms with his immortality. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's fair. That's yeah. fair. Yeah. Um, another thing is, at one point he has Shanna mind controlled so that she will uh put his tooth back in because she thinks it's like a wolf's tooth for the longest time and she's like this is animal tooth i'm not putting that back in your mouth so he eventually gets to like mind control her into doing that that's fine um you do what you need to do uh but he plus he kind of got her consent for it the thing i did like about that was that he was like using his mind control to learn what shanna thinks about him against her will oh okay so i was not down with that that's fair um and my third red flag is he has a harem of women um that's not the 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 harem is not the problem it was the jealousy of the harem and how mean they were at first but honestly that did get resolved so maybe this red flag is a little unjustified but it's on the slideshow so you know that's fair take it or leave it (laughs) he has an attitude um he's like a 500 year old vampire he's very wealthy so he kind of has an attitude uh where he is very used to getting what he wants um he's also a coven master which Mm -hmm, means mm -hmm. that he has control over like a lot of vampires in his area so nobody really says no to him and Mm -hmm. i just i don't think he needed that much power he's a white man he was going a little white rich white man (laughs) power as a brat though that's fun (laughs) (laughs) that's a fun scenario (laughs) take him down a few pegs (laughs) i'm like you be a good respectable person (laughs) yeah (laughs) um that's so that and then my fifth red flag here is that he is a hashtag pick me vamp hashtag not like other vamps (laughs) 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 he seems to think that just because he's miserable and hates having fun that he is a little bit above the other vampires um, they're having a coven meeting and he's mad that the vampires want to dress up as vampires because he hates himself. And <laughs> I'm just and yeah, he's really bitter about the party theme being vampires. And I would understand if they were out and they could be vampires all the time. But mm-hmm. you know, how often do you get to they they don't get to be out and celebrate their proud vampiricness. So I think Having a party every once in a while that lets vampires act like vampires is uh is nice. Yeah. That's fair. Those are my those are my red flags. Fair enough. All right. So here's where we widely differed. <laughs> I gave him a half of a red flag. Oh my god, it's a half. I didn't even notice That's that it. at first. Just a half. <laughs> just a little, just a half. A just a tiny a little <laughs> yeah i literally was struggling so hard because i literally was like mm, nothing about this <laughs> is bad to me <laughs> <laughs> everything is fine <laughs> um the only thing uh, what did i say hold on sorry i'm reading my notes okay the only thing i took issue with in with him is that he wasn't completely up front off the bat with the harem Mm-hmm. But he also didn't lie about it and was like, yeah, I have a harem. <laughs> I'm a vampire. Like, what do you want from me? <laughs> right. Essentially. And then he also, like, did get rid of the harem then whenever she was like, I'm uncomfortable with this and I only want to be with you, etc. Yeah. So, I don't know. I'm just, it was, it felt like a non-issue because it literally was just an issue because she was not communicating. Yes. So, 
that's the only red flag I had for him. He gets a half of a red flag. <laughs> Everything <laughs> else, I was like, this is great. <laughs> Uh, this is great i'm so this is i'm so i love when we don't agree (laughs) (laughs) yeah i don't know why (laughs) good content we don't agree. good content yeah (laughs) that's fair also like i debated whether i wanted to put the mind control thing down so i'm glad that you like mentioned it yeah but ultimately i was like well he kind of he just did what he had to do it is what it is yeah so also, I love how they were like, I don't know, the whole like dentist line of like him having to like find like the plot line of him having to find a dentist and whatever. Like, I feel like they were <laughs> exaggerating it a little bit and like playing it up of like, oh, the vampire has to do this by whatever, because literally humans have to, too. Like, there's only a certain amount of time for you to get a tooth back in mm-hmm. if it falls out. So I don't know. It's just. It was interesting. I was like, yeah, but people are that way, too. <laughs> I don't know. I was like, you're not that special. <laughs> like, literally, your teeth cannot. <laughs> People's teeth can't survive very long either. <laughs> so, what the fuck? Yeah, that's but, yeah. fair. Yeah. And plus, he was in New York. So, like, yeah. they had... It wasn't like he lived where like we live where we live right. there probably are not 24 hour dentists <laughs> yeah probably not maybe in like the rich town over <laughs> we could maybe find one <laughs> yeah that's a big, that's like 30 big. minutes away <laughs> so like we would be in the emergency room like hey do you have anyone have training putting teeth back <laughs> for in? dentistry yeah <laughs> Can you uh can you fix this for me? <laughs> yeah. Do you, do you know what you're actually supposed to do? What? If a tooth comes out like that, you're either supposed to A, clean it off with water very, very quickly and just shove it back in there <laughs> and then go to the emergency room, or you're supposed to put it in a cup of milk. milk? And then take it with you. <laughs> oh my god, we would be yeah. screwed. Yeah. <laughs> milk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah the more you know i actually learned that from tiktok a while ago <laughs> and then had to look it up because i was like is this real catch me but that is literally what you're supposed to do in the grocery store bleeding from my mouth give me a gallon of milk <laughs> plop the tooth in there <laughs> like a whole gallon yeah and then yeah. when they need to find it you're like yeah just like dump it <laughs> You go to the dentist and they have to dump it out. Yeah. <laughs> it's in there somewhere. <laughs> yes, I'm picturing... Oh, I'm picturing it. The strainer <laughs> for the tooth. Losing the tooth down the drain after that immediately. Right. <laughs> good, good, good. <laughs> yeah, when you said... You know what you're supposed to do if you lose a tooth? I was thinking just like, you know, just kiss it goodbye, basically. Just kiss it goodbye. I mean, essentially, if you don't shove that thing back in there, like right away, yeah. I'm like, oh, well, it was nice having that tooth, but I guess, yeah. guess I don't deserve a full set of teeth. <laughs> guess, guess I have a fake one now. That's what, um, <laughs> that's the path God has chosen for me. <laughs> It was God's will. He had to be toothless. <laughs> All right. Oh, let's talk hilarious. about green butterflies. Yes, let's move on to the good things about our dear Roman. Yeah. Um, I gave Roman four out of five green butterflies. Um, firstly, he's a vampire, so he automatically gets one because I would love to live forever and not miss out on things. I am constantly that TikTok audio that's just like running out of time. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. (laughs) That's my brain 24-7. I have such intense FOMO all the time. And I would Mm -hmm. like, I just would, if I was immortal, or knew that I could like hang around as a ghost or something like that, I would be very happy. To be chill it. Chill that. Yeah. Yeah. Because I yeah. Because oh, wow. <laughs> I'm also a Taurus moon and I do want to be chillin'. 
Yeah. <laughs> but I'm also <laughs> freaking out constantly. <laughs> Isn't that a fun juxtaposition? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Should we also mention your rising sign? Because it's just... <laughs> It's a very fun. <laughs> Go. It's a fun time. Go for it. I, yeah. So, our our lovely Adrian here is an Aries sun with a Taurus moon and a Cancer rising. <laughs> <laughs> if you know anything about astrology, that's a fun combination. <laughs> Let me tell you. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the whole chart is really great too when we looked at it, and there's literally no like water in it. Except for the cancer rising. Except for the rising, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's fair. Um, so if anyone's ever like, you know, you're kind of like closed off and mean. Um, <laughs> now you know why. <laughs> yeah. I sure am. <laughs> no. <laughs> you're not. You're very caring, too. That's the Taurus moon. <laughs> I'm evil. Thank you very much. <laughs> like, now I must appear. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> Yes. Um, but yeah, my bestie also has a cancer rising though. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm a I'm a Taurus sun with a Capricorn moon and a cancer rising. And if you know anything about earth signs, those two earth signs really, really hate feeling emotions. <laughs> and we like to bottle things up. And cancers are can be a little emotional, a little bit of a mess. <laughs> So Every time yeah. I hear you, the Capricorn moon, though, I'm just like, no, because <laughs> I just no. poor Capricorn moons. <laughs> I hate it. I, I just feel bad for Capricorn moons. That's fair. <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> and I don't like to be pitied. So <laughs> that's a fun. That's a fun thing. I mean, Capricorn moons can handle it, but they shouldn't have yeah. had to do that. Yeah. <laughs> Um, anyway, devolving <laughs> to astrology. <laughs> yeah, anyway. <laughs> it's kind of appropriate, though, to be fair, because we are using our D&D tokens right now, and my dear Constans up here, the blue air genasi, um, is a star druid. So they they enjoy looking at the stars and reading the star signs and stuff like that. Hell yeah, and I also appreciate you you went above and beyond in your uh D and D backstory. <laughs> oh, Thirteen pages, but you also incorporated um a chart for our constants here. So I just yes. appreciate that as well. <laughs> but hell yeah. <laughs> yep. Looking for uh character traits, why not just give your your D D character a, a birth chart? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> Just for, yeah, just for funsies. If you would like to pick some traits that <laughs> don't necessarily overlap, uh, I think it's fun to just pick signs that might fight fight with each other. <laughs> <laughs> and see what happens. <laughs> yeah, just duke it out. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> um, can't, wait to, can't wait to try to play that. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um. But All right, so getting back to your green butterflies. Yes, yeah, so my green butterflies. This has been a rambly episode. I'm kind of enjoying the vibe. That's fair. Um, Same. My second green butterfly is Roman is very rich, and I would like to be taken care of. <laughs> um, Facts. <laughs> com comfort and luxury are nice. <laughs> Why would uh -huh. you not want those things? <laughs> that Taurus moon again. Uh -huh. That Taurus moon says, I would like to be swaddled in velvet. Next, he develops synthetic blood so humans don't have to die every time a vampire's tummy rumbles. <laughs> so, good on him since they apparently... Couldn't handle biting people and not murdering them. <laughs> mm -hmm, Good job. Mm -hmm. um, my biggest and last green butterfly is that he wants to give Shanna whatever she wants, no matter how different it is from his current life. Um, like we talked about earlier, she's like, I don't like the harem. He's like, gone. <laughs> he, right immediately he's just like all right cool bye <laughs> he's like i want a white picket fence kids and a dog he's like let me research how to freaking make vampire children say less baby <laughs> yeah and like yeah. picking out houses basically yeah. he's 
just open to carving an entirely new life that he's been living a different life for 500 years and shanna is like this is what i want and he's like i'll do it i i want you I just, yeah i really... think deep down he wanted those things too yeah yeah but yeah those are my butterflies now Alyssa, you probably have more to say oh yeah i do <laughs> <laughs> i give him so many i give him seven out of five <laughs> a swarm <laughs> so many I said everything about him and his situation. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Here's my list. Number one, he's a vampire. <laughs> that was also your number one. I thought that was funny. Number two, bite me, daddy. <laughs> That's hot. Um, number three, he has a great moral compass, I would say, with the whole... Uh, you know, changing how the vampires are feeding to protect the humans. Yeah. I thought that was very admirable. Um, he is a savvy businessman who has lots of moolah. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, he lives in a mansion. That's pretty fucking dope. Um, he's the head of a coven. And then I was like, am I just attracted to power? Maybe yes. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe yes. <laughs> Um, but yeah, and he does like take care of the members of his coven and puts them like in their needs above his own. Um, and I do have an additional scene then to discuss later about that statement as well. Um, and then the last thing, well, actually I have two more. So the gala every year would be fun. And I think that Roman would have fun if I were there. So party, party with me. (laughs) And I'll change your mind about this gala. <laughs> Let loose a little bit, sir. I agree. Yeah. Um, and then the last thing is the harem. The harem was a was a pro for me. And then again, I was like, maybe I need to explore polyamory. I don't know. Um, but also the vibes the whole time is that she's the most important. So like she in like a dom sub situation with in within polyamorous relationships, she's like the alpha brat i don't know if that's technically what they're called but like you know what i mean like that i like that a lot um but yeah so i just didn't really understand the qualms that she had about that because if she would have openly communicated like she would have realized that she's the most important <laughs> right and if that was her jealousy issues if that's where that was stemming from then like hey problem solved <laughs> yeah but I don't know. Maybe I'm just built different. (laughs) So yeah, seven out of five. I agree. I I think you are built different. (laughs) I guess. I think we're both built different. Like for for those things. Different ways. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. We both were like, Shanna, I don't see what the problem is. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) That's fair. But also, okay, I, we didn't really get into this either, but, like, the the vampire sex, like, he has a harem, yes, but the vampire sex is purely, like, psychic. Yeah. So it's not even, like, a physical thing. Like, you clearly, <laughs> you have something there that's different from everyone else, so I don't, again, I don't understand why you're insecure. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, yeah. I should touch Hello. On. Roman's yeah. a 500-year-old virgin. Yeah. In human senses. Human senses, yes. Because he has had hot psychic vampire sex, but... (laughs) I know, but he he thinks... He seems to think he's a virgin, too. (laughs) Yeah. He's like... (laughs) When they finally do it, he's like, my last bow. Yeah. Like, boy. Which also, did it ever get into how he was turned? Uh, hmm, I believe he... I feel like it may have. It's been a minute since we read this book, honestly. But yes. I believe he was working as a monk. Um, and oh, that's right. That's yeah. what it was. Like he went. He thought he yeah. could handle a vampire, basically, and they showed him. <laughs> yeah, that's what it was. Okay, because I was like, how old was he when he was turned that he was still a virgin? <laughs> but that makes sense if he was a monk. <laughs> So, yeah. Fair enough. And then also, I guess that does, like, tie into the whole self-hatred and religious uh, issues. <laughs> yes. Of, like, being a 
demon and an abomination and etc whatever yeah like but I again understand. i was like you've had 500 years to process that i've only been here for 26 years and i feel like i've processed that pretty well as far as like the church hating me for being gay partially so yeah 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 i was not not to say get over it but also it's been 500 years yeah, <laughs> my get dude over it, but get over it <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> exactly <laughs> Yeah, that Come was on. that was very much my point. Yeah, I was like, I understand the religious trauma, but yeah, it's time. It's time. Yeah, what are you gonna do about it? You just you just gonna keep hating yourself? That's yeah, dumb. I just, Don't hate yourself. Like it seems delusional at some point to think those negative things about yourself still, when you yeah. literally can have evidence to the contrary. Mm -hmm. But you know what? I do be mentally ill as well, so. <laughs> <laughs> Same. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> Maybe he was just having an off week <laughs> in this book. <laughs> he was actually just really depressed and in his feels that week. <laughs> yeah. He was just in a depressive episode. <laughs> He'll be back to being manic soon. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> that God complex will kick in. <laughs> Spending money. I'm a bitches for the harem. <laughs> yeah. We, we got this. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um. Now, yes, like gatekeep, girl boss, man, manipulate, mansplain, male wife. Ah, oh, that was ah. so good. <laughs> good job. Good job. Um. Okay. I rated Roman fifty percent manipulate and fifty percent girl boss. And I rated him a hundred percent male wife. <laughs> That's right. Because <laughs> yeah. male wife is the most complimentary thing on this program. Yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> now. I mean, arguably girl bosses, but. <laughs> fair, like both, both ends of the spectrum are pretty complimentary. Yeah. And then you just go like worse in between. <laughs> yeah. For sure. Yeah. Um. I know that we want me to explain manipulate. It has been a minute since I read this book. <laughs> <laughs> I should have written more notes about that. That's fair. It's um, probably, I would say the, I mean, you mentioned the like in her head thing and hypnotizing her earlier. Yeah, it was like definitely that. That was definitely part of it. I wish I knew more. I'm so sorry. I failed you all as a community. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> no. <laughs> You're funny. But yeah, um we'll also say that like he was wanting to help her, but he was also, you know, like keeping her around so that she would fix his tooth. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Any who's it? That's that's the ratings. Hell yeah! Take them or leave them. But he's walking <laughs> out of this building with the trophies. So hell yeah! Fair yeah. enough. <laughs> and they they have V eight in them, and that's a new vampire energy drink from the Roman <laughs> Dragon SD line. <laughs> Dope. <laughs> yeah. All right, on to additional thoughts. Yes. Additionally, we are thinking. So um, I'll start off by saying that earlier, whenever I said the green butterflies about him taking care of his own coven members, mm -hmm. um, he has been working on a potion that will help him walk like during the daytime and not die. Yeah. And he goes and takes the potion to go rescue one of his people from the evil vampires. Um, but he literally doesn't know the repercussions of it or like the dosing or anything. He's just like, we got to go. We got to go try. We got to go get this guy. Yeah. So I thought that was a little dumb, but also very admirable. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah. I liked his attitude. He was like, what's going to happen? I die. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm already dead. <laughs> it's fine. 
Plus, yeah. he's got that whole self-loathing thing. He was like, you know, if I died, whatever. <laughs> Wouldn't be that bad. Yeah. <laughs> I've lived 500 yeah. years. I'm I'm a monster. I deserve it. Goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. Um, along that line, um, speaking of that potion, the reason mm-hmm. that potion is necessary is that when <laughs> when the sun rises, the vampires immediately fall into like a deep trance, almost death like state. Mm-hmm. Um, and they cannot be like awoken until the next sundown. <laughs> and there is a scene. I I don't I was like gonna say sunfall. I don't know. That's not a term, but it sounds poetic. I kind of like it. Mm-hmm, um, I like that too. <laughs> <laughs> there's a scene where um Shanna wakes up and finds Roman asleep in her bed, and I think <laughs> it's so funny. I literally also had that down for another <laughs> scene to discuss. That was my only other one I had. That's yes. funny. Um she's I want you to just go on this journey with me people at home (laughs) she's uh doing all this like weird shit to try to wake him up at first she's mad too she's like how dare he sleep in this bed with me (laughs) that is so rude and then she's like um can and she tries to wake him up and she's convinced that he is just like pretending to be asleep because there's no way he wouldn't have woken up she's being like really loud and she's acting a fool basically and then she (laughs) realizes he's not breathing and she thinks he's dead and she starts screaming and all several guards on staff like bust in the room they're like what's going on And, and uh she's like he's dead and then they're all like aha just a tuesday I can't believe he's not asleep in his bed. And then she's like getting, she's frantically trying to get them to act like normal people who found their boss dead. And they're all just like, ah, he'll walk it off, basically. (laughs) He'll be fine. He's all right. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. That was a very, very funny scene. Mm -hmm. It was hilarious. I was cackling. (laughs) Yeah. That was a good one. Um, But that was my only additional thought. The other additional. Uh, I shared later that was a lot of S's too bad for the speech impediment <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's all I had too so but that scene was I, I like that we both put that scene it was a uh, very memorable <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> yeah I quite honestly funny. read it for that <laughs> yeah read the book for that scene <laughs> report back <laughs> let us know if you also found it hilarious <laughs> yes now our overall rating of the book. Yes, yes, yes. I rated it four coffins out of five. And I gave it four and a half coffins out of five. Yeah. Also, I love these coffins that you found. Thank you. <laughs> I went into the slideshow and I was like, oh, very nice. Very nice. Yes, Google Clip Art Studio or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful <laughs> love them can't remember if i recolored them or what but yes i'm glad you like them <laughs> hell yeah but yes. yeah those were our ratings for le book yeah that's uh that's it that's official we've written written the grade off um <laughs> please turn in your professor ratings next week they are uh not anonymous and i will be contacting you when you say you don't like me <laughs> <laughs> hilarious <laughs> uh, next week we're reading Eroticos by Shannon Lee and uh, we talked about it previously it's Sex Jumanji I do have the uh, summary though I did pull it so I will read it for you dope I was wondering if you would pull that <laughs> cause I did not <laughs> um, go ahead <laughs> Check it out, guys. This is a summary. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long time since Renee and her two friends have gotten together for a girls' night in. What could possibly be more fun than drinking margaritas, gossiping about their recent bed partners, and playing drunken rounds of Twister until they all pass out? But when Mina shows up toting a bottle of Jose Cuervo gold in one hand, one arm, I don't know why I said hand, um, <laughs> and a strange game named Eroticos in the other, the girls' evening is about to get a lot more interesting. 
Even before they remove the contents, Renee senses something amiss. This is no ordinary game. Eroticos promises pleasures galore and adventures filled with sexual delight. But how can a cardboard pastime with its small stack of cards, two oddly marked die, and eight pewter men accomplish all this? After reading the instructions, the girls select their character pieces, an Indian, a Selkie, and a vampire. Three men of varying backgrounds, but all sexy as sin and tantalizing to the eye. With a roll of the dice, the game begins, and the three women soon find themselves pulled into a place where their wildest fantasies come to life. So yeah, look forward to that. Hell yeah, sex Jumanji. <laughs> we're, we're very excited. <laughs> yeah, it was a pretty good book. <laughs> yes. All right. Um, On to plugs. Yes. We pl I plug. Um hello, <laughs> my name is Adrian and um if you like me, you can go to my link tree, Ad Adrian Drawful, or follow me on Twitter, Adrian Drawful, or follow me slash subscribe to me here on Twitch at Adrian Games. Um 18 plus only. I am afraid of children and I don't want to talk to you. Um unless you're above the age of 18. I don't make content for you, and thanks so much. I also <laughs> would like to announce that we have recently finished putting together a Discord. Um, so if you would like to stay in contact with Alyssa and I and, like, a few other of our streaming friends, uh, they are all on this Discord. If you'd like to join that, I'm going to put the link in chat. So, yeah, I hope you have... Uh, I don't know why I was gonna say have fun, but I hope you do have fun. <laughs> have fun, damn it! Um, and listen to these better thought out plugs. <laughs> <laughs> I love what you say. It's gonna be better thought out. It's not. <laughs> I'm Alyssa. I don't think about anything. It's fine. <laughs> no thoughts head empty. <laughs> <laughs> Twitch.tv slash Nabiru thirty one link tree the same. And you can follow me on Twitter if you're 18 plus only. Actually, on everything, 18 plus only, please. Um, I also am an adult content creator on other fun sites. So, you know, not not making shit for kids. So <laughs> don't follow me unless you are 18 plus. Um, you can check out, I have a YouTube channel that's linked on there if you guys like. I pretty much upload everything I do on my Twitch to there. I have lots of Genshin videos, some Sea of Thieves stuff. Um, this podcast, obviously. <laughs> and then we are starting at the end of October, our new D&D campaign, which is going to be lots of fun. It's going to be a pirate themed campaign. Um, our first episode airs on Halloween. It's a little Halloween special and it, it was just a session zero, so the the players aren't playing their exact characters as pirates necessarily. Uh, they all just played as regular humans, but there is a fun uh, pop culture monster in there. So check that out. Clips clips to come after that air date. So yeah, if you like D&D, check that out as well. <laughs> and Adrian will be a part of that campaign too, so... We know him, we love him. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yes, I'm very excited. Um, but yeah, I hope you all have a great weekend and we'll see you next week, if not sooner. I don't know when I'll be streaming next week, so I cannot tell you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's fair. Same. <laughs> <laughs> but I yeah. really get a schedule. Uh, my life is about to get pretty hectic, though. I'm going to just forewarn you all. Yeah. Um, but hey, um, if in December you like, I know that's a month away. If you like um, Spyro the Dragon, I'm going to do a Spyro playthrough of all three games in December. Oh, that's exciting. I didn't know you were playing that either. Yes, it was a community goal that we funded. Um, nice. Thank you. Shout out to Hex Kitty Cat <laughs> and Infinity Star. They were big contributors to that campaign. <laughs> Hell yeah. Um, yeah. Thanks so much, everybody. And goodbye. Bye.